Yes, we are waiting now. Get them set now. Get them set. Come and see wonderful Jesus. Come and see. 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 Amen. Come and see what he had done tonight. Done in America, done in Hong Kong, done in Russia, done in Germany, done in Kanu, done in Kaduna, done in Portacot, done in Edo, done in Bayasa, done all over. It's a miracle. Yes, get set now. The people in charge, get set and line them up there. Don't go away. Listen, 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 listen. Don't go away to hear what the Lord has done tonight. Not just in Calabar, all over the world. You will hear. Get them set now. Get them set. Get them set. Right, brother. Come down, come down, gallery, come down, testify to the glory of God. To the rights, to the rights, to the rights. Something you are doing in Nigeria, all the states, something you are doing in, in Ghana, in Kenya, something you are doing, what are doing here, you're doing East Africa, West Africa, Central Africa, all over the world. To, to, to show that there's God in heaven is a global crusade for signs and wonders for the needy. Yes, line them up. Line them up. Line them up. Line them up. Give us spectacular fests and, and also practical ones that happen now. Now. To show the world that there's God. There's God. Amen. Are you set now? Get set now. Line them up. Non stop. Line them up. Stand by social media. I'll come to you in a while. Are you set now, brother? All right. Number one, cross over. Praise the Lord. Church of God, praise the Lord. I introduce to you our test first testifier this night. Ten years insomnia. Insomnia. He cannot sleep without taking drug every night. Insomnia. Conquered. Hear from him. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. I'm Rajon Anubare. I came from River State. So I came on last Tuesday. By the time I get to Calabar here, I discovered that the back of my drug, I didn't come with it, I forget it. I quickly called my wife and told her that I didn't come with the drug. What do I do? She said, that should bring my prayer topic. I say, amen. I sleep at the secretary on Tuesday. I couldn't close my eye till daybreak. Wednesday, I was not turning on the bed. I couldn't close my eye till daybreak. I was afraid I would have spent one week here without sleep. What will happen to me? But from Thursday, I, feel, I discovered that I sleep for some hours. To call it long story short, Last night, seeing them, I sleep like a baby. Amen. Amen. Before now, praise the Lord. Before now, 
when I see people sleeping in the afternoon, the pastor here is aware of my case. I won't read because I can't, I can't remember the year closer in the afternoon. But now I can sleep. Amen. I have up to 10 pairs of, more than 10 pairs of trousers. But I'm talking with you now, none of them size me. I used to wear 38, but from 38 to 40 something now. Mm. And people that couldn't know me, they say I'm fat, I'm fat. They didn't know that it's the drug that have been tormenting me yes. for years yes. that make me that type of fat. Amen. But tonight, this week, as this program Amen. came, God has visited me. Amen. My prayer tonight is that the same way God has done Amen. for me, is to do to others in Jesus' name. Our daddy, thank you for coming. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He was my driver when I was in Port Harcourt. I know him quite all right. I know him very well. I know the case. Living on drugs, almost died. Oh, shall we say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord! The pastor in Patakot now brought him here to help us. And God has solved that problem. Come on, come on. Amen. Next. Praise the Lord. I present the second testifier to you. She has this great testimony of what the Lord did in 2017 when our pastor visited on the grandchild. Please listen and be blessed. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. I from Ikorepo group. Uh, uh, uh. I from Ikorepo group. Uh, Abashiobo district. By the grace of God, I am saved. I want to testify about the goodness of God in my life. It was 2017 when our father in the Lord came to this caravan stadium. Then my twin children, my grandchildren, one worked at, the, at one year, and the other one stood in the ground until three years. So when the daddy came, I took her with all the family. I told her that today you must walk at the field. We want to go and meet our daddy. So as we went at the stadium, when daddy preach and finish the preaching. The last amen, the child woke up and amen. started to walk in Amen. Praise the Lord! Where's the child? Where's the child? Where's the child? The mother, I don't know where, where they, they sit. Are they here? Yes, sir, they are here. Tomorrow, I... tomorrow bring that child. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Amen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. To show me any any input. Social media. Yes, we have testimonies across the globe. God of wonders is doing wonders. Here are some of the testimonies. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, the brother you are looking at in your front, his name is... Uh, Brother uh, Muiwa. Brother Muiwa has been in a church for quite long. This is a Deep Alive Bible Church, Powerline District in Ejibo, in Solo Grove. 
So he has been uh, coming to church for a long uh, while now. And uh, this problem started uh, when, he was, since when he was born. He was born, born uh, deaf and dumb. But uh, something happened here yesterday when the man of God was preaching. I mean, was praying. After the prayer of the man of God, the power of God went straight to the man, to, to, to this, our brother. And as I'm talking to you now, the brother can hear and he can speak very well. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. 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 So I want to test the brother now so that you can know that our God is alive. Brother, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, before he cannot say all this one, but now he can hear very well. And I believe God has perfected everything in his life. Amen. Now we want to count one to ten now. One, two, two three, Amen. four, four, five, five That's all six, right. That's all right. seven, eight, 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 nine, eight, eight, ten. Eight, it's done, it's done, it's done. Deaf and dumb. Gone. A wonder. Signs and wonder. And All we over have the world. More testimonies still flowing in from social media. We have this coming from Ogoja region. And this is Sister Martina Odey, who has been suffering from chronic power. This has lasted 17 years. According to her, she has been to different places for solution. But as the Lord God will have it, on Thursday, she was at the program, and the man of God prayed. Now remember, before this time, she has not been able to sleep because of this pain. But after Thursday night, till date, she's been having very fine sleep. Praise the Lord. We have Madam Rose Echirigo. She was invited to this program, and um, she's been also having sleepless nights. Uh, all through the night, she has not been able to sleep because of the challenges she's been having. But after the prayers of the man of God, she received a victory, and now she is whole. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now we want to move over to the other locations that will be standing by very soon. Back to you now, sir. All right, hold on. We are back to Calabar now. Back to Calabar. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. Cross over. Praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. Now, this is what I call wholesale miracle. Because this lady the Lord has done something for her. It was physically manifested as odima of the leg, what we call swelling of the leg. Yeah. But those in the medical circle know that before the leg begins to swell, there is a problem inside. Yes. But tonight, the Lord has done something for her. Over to you. Let's hear her. Praise the Lord. 
let's capture, capture the legs. Let's see, the cameraman, please. Cameraman. Can you, can you? Let's see, let's see, let's see quickly. Turn, 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 turn. What is it? Let's see the legs. Is it okay now? Praise the Lord! Next. Next. Uh, the, the brother here, the brother here is by name Bro Eden Akpan. He came from uh, Odupani region. Last night, River Jordan in his life dried up for 15 years. He had had great swellings on his legs and the le legs swollen. So water running out of the leg. He came here also with Hainia. After the prayer of the man of God yesterday, River Jordan dried. Hmm. All the waters coming out of his leg dried up. Hmm. And tonight, immediately, the pastor rounded up uh, the prayers. Hainia went away. A wonder. A wonder. So we are going to listen to him. He's going to speak in mother tongue. And it's going to be gracious. Amen. Yes, yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> So after one week, we got a job at him. Fat, I'm been there. Nos, see why better. Nando, the nos, I'm coming back over. I'm neighbor. More, more than two hundred shilling. We got over. We got it. Oh, I mean, I get the young kid on Kakaro. Young John, I mean, young, 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 Found me. Mean man to me, the man I'm called. Yeah, one man do. The man he pick a call. Then mean na kebet. Who couldn't me abono ki song? Then he didn't mean a kebet. Then you ban the fish on. Fish on kero. Then I inkere. I do a word on them go for a basse. A can nan to make up. Sister ke do worry. I didn't mum. I didn't pack him quite yet. I think I saw your friend can come. And they yeah, yeah, thank God so bad. I mean the air. So at that time we need a phone man ring. Summarize. So in Tanka you can make a toss there. Nyong de nyong. Then go rum kong in the sand by young soon new is song. The rum kong mong and a cow walk who couldn't mirror and take a pa and book and yellow can I'm bra. The rum move you. I need to have him be on me. I mean, young, get so knock at Oster. Mdoka brought a receiver on Boka, young boy, warm at the Yawdong, a warm at the Kalai, maybe San Antonio in Yongo. And I want San Antonio Yonga can young cheese us. Okay, Let, let's recap it, recap that thing, recap the, the call, the content of that testimony quickly. Recap it. And yes, 15 years ago, he had pains, great swellings. On the two legs. Yes. After the prayer of the man of God on Thursday, yesterday, the swelling, you know, the leg flattened. All the water that used to come out dried up. Man. He came here also with Hainia. Tonight, after the prayer of the man of God, the Hainia has gone forever. Wonder, wonder, wonder. Come on, wonder. Hainia disappeared. Hold on, hold on, social media. Yes, we have more testimonies coming in from social media. We're going to take two from social media now, and then we'll go to uh, those states, to Uyo and to Kwara, who are standing by. This testimony is coming from Iriwana Group of District in Gombe State. Sister Patience is testifying to the glory of God 
for total healing from ulcer of about six years after the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. And then we have the second one coming from Momitadios, which happened, who happened to be the state of Asia's wife. She has been suffering from three years of severe pain at her back as well as high blood pressure. However, during the divine connection crusade in Abuja, after the prayer of the man of God, the GS, the pain disappeared and the high blood pressure normalized. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Now we are moving over to Uyo for a live testimony. We are going to go to Edo now. After Edo, we we'll go to Uyo, and from Uyo, uh, from, from Uyo, we we'll move to Kwara State. Go ahead. To Kwara State. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is Deeper Life Bible Church. Lion Crew. And we have a brother here by the name Basi John Ephion. He wants to testify to the goodness of the Lord, what the Lord did for him. Praise the Lord, everybody. In fact, I am here to testify about the Lord's goodness in my life. I am by name Brother Bati Ephion John in a, a deeper Christian Life Ministry, uh, Zion Group of District in Benin uh, region. My testimony goes like this. On the, 31st of, on the 31st of this month, before the 22nd, which the crusade, Commence. Behold, I was on the on, uh, on the dream then, and I I saw GS on the the venue of the crusade, being a uh, Calabar Cross River State, and over there, behold, our GS was healing people, and I was the very first person that GS touched, and behold, when GS touched me on that very dream, and all over my body was just like electric shock. And be behold, I was having a serious pain of more than three years. It moved from year to year, from year to year. And I've been looking for the way forward for the pain to go. And I bought a, a, a different type of um, a, 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 a pain and a relief, but all was available. But on that very night, as GS touched me on that very trip, then I become whole. Then the Edna song a song, and he said, My healing is not from man, but is from God in Calabar language. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Next. Next. Now we move to Uyo, South South Nigeria. Now we move to Uyo. the Lord. So this is brother Joshua Joseph Audu and he gave his life to Christ on February this year and after that he had challenges with his work with God. He had been struggling to live a righteous life. To pray had been a challenge. To read the scripture had been a challenge but something happened in his life on Thursday. While others were looking for miracle he was praying for their heart sanctification. And after that Thursday, this brother said, for the first time in his life, he can live a Christian life seamlessly. He can wake up to pray. He can read the Bible. He has peace in his heart. Amen. I want to ask him, bro, how do, Amen. how do you feel right now? I feel free by God's grace. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Now we move to Kwara State, Nigeria. Kwara State. From Ori, from Ori. And because of that, she has been using everything about everything.
Now we are coming back to Calabar while we get more from other locations. Praise the Lord. I present the next testifier to you. The Lord, by his mighty power this night, did something great for her. She was diagnosed before coming to this meeting of diabetes, hypertension, which is a heart disease. And she said that that heart disease was associated with a chronic pain in her heart. That's the chest region. But after the man of God prayed today, pain took a flight. Hear her. Just praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Priscilla Osim from Econ Group. 2015, I was not feeling fine. So my sister took me to a, for a test. When I went there, now, they said I have five sickness. And by then, I was not feeling fine. She received that time till now. So my sister said, don't worry, nothing will do you. They take me to county hospital. When I went there, no way for me. They carry me to Oh, eh, Calabar, no way for me. They took me to special hospital. I'm, um, <laughs> I'm uh, Abakalike. It was not okay. I said, God, help me. My sister take me down to this place since on Friday. She said, don't, don't worry. Everything will be all right. I said, amen, my mommy. And she's my senior sister. I have two sisters there. So after so, after that very time, they take me into this hall now. I was crying, crying. Without somebody, I cannot move. With my sister, I cannot work. I said, God, help me. I cannot go away here without your help. I said, praise the Lord. It's done. I was having pain, serious, since on Friday. Since this morning, I get up fine. I collected food and eat, take my baths, Amen. walk down to this place without holding me. Amen. So just praise the Lord. She's the Lord free. is good. You are free. You are free. Next. Next. Let me summarize. Yes. Samuel. My name is Ibabong Samuel from Ikonda Kanda, Akpabuyo region. I'm here to testify the goodness of the Lord in my life. It was last month I heard about GS is coming. Unfortunately, I woke up in the morning, nothing wrong with me. But I went out within two seconds. Something shook on my leg, which is, I don't know how it's managed. That long ring shook my two legs. I can't walk. I just managed to go to church, and I don't tell anybody. And another thing, sharp object moving all my body until it enters my head. I can't feel fine, even in the house, I can't do anything. So I believe God and I trust God. So when I came here, I saw the man of God. I will have my own healing. So by the grace of God, on Saturday, my two legs after the man of God said the final amen. The long ring just get out. Amen. And the object that is running me today is disappeared. It's gone. Praise it's gone. the Lord. It's gone. Fast.
next next praise the lord i present the next testifier to you and it's interesting to know that god cannot it's not only healing physical disease when there is a curse god will also break the curse listen to him and be blessed praise the lord i want to thank the lord for how he has delivered me out of the bondage of satanic troubles in the past nine years ago when i was seven years i went to our neighbors that normally sells biscuit and all these biscuit and sweet and all these things little children normally like so when i went there i saw her money 300 naira. so i was like maybe she did not know let me pick it when i pick it actually she was not there so i took that money after some time i ceased to come to I think my client, she was like, hey, this is my customer. Why is he not coming? So when she saw me, she reminded me of the money I took from her. And I was surprised. Not so I began to dodge from her. And uh, I was thinking that it's just a minor this thing, not knowing that it will land me to somewhere else. So when I grew up, up to this age, it, when the case became severe, I don't, knowing, not knowing that she played a course on that money. So it became severe from one problem to the other. People was like, ah, Israel, what is happening? That you finish from here, you enter here, and you are not making any. So I, when I went home, I sat down to think about it. And thank God that the Lord remembered me. And I told my parents that this is what happened some years ago. So by the grace of the God, uh, we met our overseer, and our overseer directed us to do the restitution. And by the grace of God, we went to the woman. And when we went there, the woman was like, Hey, are you still alive? Uh -uh. Have you grown to this estate? Let's summarize. So, we, by the grace of God, we successfully told her that this is what happened. And with my ignorance, not knowing, we gave her the money, and she, she now a blessing that because of this I will succeed and nothing will harm me in Jesus name and I want to also thank the Lord for how he has granted me salvation and I'm convicted that my soul is at rest and I'm saved why not, why not recap it recap yes that the testimony the meat of the testimony is that because of that 300 naira she stole from that woman the woman placed a curse on him. Yes. And uh, there was this problem of compulsive stealing. Stealing things, he doesn't, he would just go pick things here, pick things here. And because of that, he had had series of problems because of stealing. Mm. But as he came here, the Lord broke that power and saved Amen. him from sin. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's a wonder. It's the signs of wonder. Yes. Let's take one from social media, just one or two. From social media, YouTube precisely, we have this coming from Olaleye Bolanli, or Motoke from Old Badagri, Lagos. It says, I have had severe pain at my lower abdomen, and which I've been told needs operation. But on Friday, after the last amen, I got my healing. I am healed. Praise amen. the Lord. Amen. We also have this from YouTube as well, uh, coming from uh, Nabuike Chinyere. She says, stiffness on my left elbow for some times. I got healed after the prayer of, the, of our Father and the Lord yesterday. Now I can stretch my hands, so I can move my hands, no pain anymore. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now we go to Edo State for a live testimony. Edo State, Nigeria. 
دوستی of this street. We have our brother here by name, Brother Godwin Sode Samson, who the Lord has touched. He's going to testify his testimony. Just praise the Lord. Yeah. Just praise the Lord. Well, I want to testify of the goodness of God in my life. Here is my testimony recaps. My name is Sunday Samson Godwin from Zion Group of this street in Edo State. Well, uh, my testimony goes thus. I was very healed comprisement of typhoid and malaria which I went to a pharmacy and I bought the drugs and I took all to no avail and on Sunday in the afternoon and the temperature was severely high and then I lie down on the floor and I raised up just to go and take some bath I said no devil you are a liar this evening in as much as the program is concerned I'm going to be there and that is how I came here and after the ministration at the final last amen praise the Lord in short, when the man of God declared the mm -hmm. temperature was very high, that high temperature become low. And the Lord has touched me, he will touch you. And your testimony will be in short in Jesus' mm -hmm. name. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. It's a wonder. It's a wonder. Okay. Praise the Lord. I present the next testifier to you. Anybody who has suffered pile. Pile we know the burden this young man had borne for this good seven years mm. but today the lord terminated it amen just praise the lord my name is good news i'm living at uh, itumoto present i'm worshiping at a port group uh, my testimony goes like this i've been suffering from this sickness pile since 2014 and I've been spending money, taking her, buying drugs, and there was no solution for it till I decided not to take anything again. Any I would be, let it be. So right from the day one of this program, I've been here. On Saturday, I closed from workplace very late. When I came here, I saw people going out, and I did not even, I asked them, what happened? They say, Jesus has finished message. I just dropped from the bus that I was entering, I entered the one that was going back. So as I just went back home, even when I came here, I was still having the problem. This pile was very serious in such a way that if I'm impressed, I went to the restroom, all that I will shit there is blood. But uh, to God be the glory, Saturday, I did not even come inside here. By the roadside, I went back home from that day to this day. Amen. I came here very early yesterday Amen. to testify. I said, let me confirm it first. I went back home. Today, uh, nothing that I has in my life. Gone. I am healed. It's gone. Amen. 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 Yes. Praise the Lord. I present to you the next testifier. The power of diabetes dissolved. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. My name is Sister Vitri Eko from Anyanse Group of District, Akpa Uyo region. By the grace of God, I'm saved. I was suffering of diabetes since on April, April of this year. I took all sorts of drugs, no solution. But when I heard that, our general superintendent is coming to Calabar. I said, praise the Lord. Okay, that will be my solution. 
So I came here on Thursday. I came here on Thursday. As a man of God prayed on that Thursday. So I received my miracle that very Thursday evening. So I said, let me reason this thing, whether it is real. So <laughs> right from that Thursday till today, that uncontrolled urinating amen. is no more. It's Praise gone. the Lord. Shall we say amen? amen. Put your hands together now. Amen. Just one from social media. Then one day we will we'll round off. Yes. Um, from social media, we have um, several other testimonies. I'm going to take these few ones now, and then we we'll go to um, Lagos for a live testimony. But before Lagos, we have this coming from Oyo State. Uh, Brother Femi Oyebanji from Oliole region in Oyo State. He has had three weeks serious cough, a disgraceful one, as he has written such that even his colleagues at work thought he had contracted the COVID-19. But after the prayers of the man of God, the cough vanished and has stopped permanently. Praise the Lord. We have this one also coming from Mama Mulika Oyeyola from Oyo State as well, who has been having serious toothache. And um, this made her mouth swollen and she has been unable to eat. However, after the prayer of the GS, the tooth got healed, and the tooth that would have been extracted is now very strong. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to take this from Delta State. Mrs. Naomi Okorogwa, who was an invitee, she was healed of blood sight, and now she can see perfectly. Praise the Lord. Now, we move over to Lagos State, Nigeria, for a live testimony. From power line this street, Ejibo, Lagos. It happened that 13th August 2015, I passed through CS to give birth. After some months, I discovered that I have another growth under my navel where the rope was tied. So I treated it and they told me that we, I will pass through another operation in order to in order for it to heal, that with that operation it will not go. Since that time to this period, I've been suffering for it. So it happened that on Thursday, when after the prayer of man of God, I was in a dream, pus was coming out from it. And by the grace of God, that pus that was coming out from it, on yesterday being Saturday, after the prayer, the swelling of the place and the pain and everything disappeared. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Okaiki. I'm from Airport Group. In Edimotos district. Praise the Lord. Brethren, this boy sick last month to work to, to rise off from, from bed or to, 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 to rise off was a problem. I said, God, you have been doing for me. You can never shame me. This uh, crusade is for me. Brethren, the, the drugs I bought for him to take, he took. Three, he said he won't do, he will, will not take again. And the drugs, they are there. When he go to school and come back, daddy, I'm feeling cold. Though. Because of that, I always boiling water for him to 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 to, to, to bath. As we came to this crusade, I say, God, you have been doing for me. You will do it again for me, mm. brethren. As the man of God was praying, after in Jesus' name, Amen. When he, he said we should check, I look at him. He said, "Daddy, the cold has left you." As you can see him standing, he wears three clothes. 
one shirt and two uh, sweaters to really uh, believe that the cold has gone mm. forever mm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. amen. Shall we say amen? Social media, any input? Social media? Yes, we have testimonies still flowing in from social media. And now we are going back to Lagos for a live testimony. Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, before I go further, I will sing this song. Praise the Lord! Made the possibility possible. He made the possibility in my life possible. He made the possibility possible. Amen. Amen. By the grace of God and Brother Balogun, as you know, and I am from this district. Praise the Lord. Uh, actually, it happened when I was sick, and the uh, doctor said, you have heart failure. I said, heart failure, and uh, he now analyzes, or he now analyzes all I should do. And I asked him, he said, this one is a life, is for, this one is going to be for, a, for, for my lifetime. I said, that is what you say. He said, but can, do you believe that God can do it? He said, yes. He said, yes. He said, but this is what I believe. And actually, when I came out from hospital, if I, do, if, I, if I talk louder, I will feel it in my chest. But I don't believe in what he said. So yesterday, everybody say yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday I know you will see me jumping, clapping, doing everything. Yeah, because the power touched me. And when I was clapping, I did not realize it until I don't know me that I could not do this thing before. And that was why when, when we were praying, I told Pastor, I said, something has happened, oh, God has touched me. So I feel you gone. Praise the Lord. We still have more testimonies still coming. We'll be going to the social media to pick this quickly. And this is from Victor, Victoria Yoka. She says she's had this growth on her neck, which disappeared after the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. And now we want to take a live testimony from Protacot, River State. Protacot, live. Now we come back to Calabar. Rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up. Let's thank him, worship him. He don't want us tonight. Tomorrow will be the greatest. Tomorrow is a grand finale. We'll be here tomorrow on time. Thank him and worship him as we go now. Thank him for salvation. Thank him for deliverance. Thank him for healing. It's the Lord's dream. Worship him, worship him. Worship him that 
no problem, no ailment will remain, will remain, will remain in every participant. Globally, globally. Let's worship him in Jesus' name.